Hello everyone, welcome to Lesson 5 of Objective-C on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be finishing up with our rectangle class that we've worked with for the past few tutorials now, and you'll see how we can actually use all the information that we put into that class and how we can use that in our program. So, just as a review, we've created our rectangle.h and we've created our at interface section. And then our rectangle.m contains our at implementation section. And now we want to use this code inside our main method. So to, use, to allow us to use this code, um, the compiler has to know, or the computer has to know, whatever, has to know where the uh, rectangle class is located. So we simply do at import and double quotes like so. And then we just say rectangle.h. So now we get to import our rectangle.h header file, and now the program knows all about rectangle.h. So to get started with creating an instance of the class, um, and an instance just simply means we create basically a variable that gives us all of the information that's in a rectangle class. So if we want to create an instance of our class, all we have to do is call the class name, and then we create a pointer. And it's basically pointing to memory for our um, rectangle class. Basically, any class that you create will always be a pointer if you're making an instance of it. So we're making a pointer of our rectangle class. Um, just know it, I guess. There's nothing really beyond that. Basically, we're just pointing to the memory. So basically, every time you're creating an instance of a class, just make it a pointer. So now, moving on to the next part, which is actually creating the space for the rec or for our rectangle instance. So uh, we have to give it um, certain information, basically. So uh, we have to call a method that will allocate enough space for the rectangle class. And to call methods in Objective-C, which we'll be getting to more in a second, we do the um, square brackets where that are also where the curly brace brackets are. You just don't press shift or they're near the delete key. They're just the square brackets and you use them for arrays in other cases. But these aren't arrays. They are actually the way of calling methods in Objective-C. So to start by calling this method, we have to call the rectangle class and we use NSObjects allocate method or alloc as it's called. And that allows us to create enough space for a rectangle class. So we say rectangle because that's the class that we want to allocate enough space for and we just call alloc. And alloc isn't a method that we defined in any way but since we are borrowing information like I said before in a, from NSObject, NSObject has a method inside that that allows us to allocate enough space for whatever we need. So that is an Objective-C method. So basically this entire thing is a method allocating enough space for a rectangle class. And it gives that space to our rectangle instance here. So there's one more step that we're going to do anyway and it'll prevent some errors in the future. But it also, um, it'll also help us later on for uh, some different things that we want to do. So we have to call another method and this method is the init method which stands for initialize. And um, basically, this allows us to initialize any variables that we want. So right now, we're not really using it to its full potential, I guess you could say. But basically, this is a standard step. So every time you're creating uh, basically any class instance, you're always going to be doing this portion of code right here. And this method right here might change. But generally, this method right here will be the same. So back to this init method, this basically allows us to in initialize variables later on that we might want to um, set as certain values. So for example, if we want to initialize our height and width to, uh, let's say, give them 6, or the value of 6 to both of these, we might want to do that in, in our init method. So that init method would then assign height and width both value of 6. So there's ways that you can change the init method later but we're just going to leave it as that right now. So all you have to know for right now, again, is that this block of code is how we initialize pretty much any instance of our class. So um, let's move on to actually calling the different methods that are in our rectangle class. 
So let's refer back to rectangle.h here, and we have a set, uh, set height method that we want to use. So let's try that out in our code. So again, to call any method in Objective-C, or most, me most methods in Objective-C, um, you're going to be using the square brackets. And all we have to do now is use the instance that we've created up here, rect, and now we just say set height. And it's as easy as that. And that's just calling a method in Objective-C. So we just set the height to 10, which of course sets our instance variable in our rectangle class height to 10. So we just called the set height method and we passed on the value of 10. Next, if we want to set the width, all we're doing is setting the width. So let's set the width to a value of 5. So now we want to see if this is actually working. And to test that, we're just going to print the information out. So we're going to call it nslog. And oops, for any objective C string, we always use the at sign before the two double quotes. So this creates an objective C string. And we want to say, um, let's just make, uh, let's see here. We want to um, get the integer value for each of these um, heights and widths. So we're going to use percent %d, and we'll just use another percent %d. I was just wondering if we were going to type, and I'll leave, I'll type a little bit of information here. So this is our width, and this is our height. So now we have other methods in our rectangle class that retrieve the height and width information, which are our getter methods, and those will return the values of height and width. So if you could figure that out already, that means we're going to call these methods. So rect, and we'll call width for to retrieve our width value here, and we'll also call the height method so that we can um, retrieve the height value as well. So uh, let's go ahead and build and run this program. So go up to run, console, and let's build and run. And as you can see, when we run this program, we have width as 5 and height is 10, just as we set them right here. So, so far, so good. Our program is working as expected. So now let's, we have one more method that we want to try out, which is our set height and, and set height width method. So let's call that right now. And this will just show you how you can use um, methods that are longer in Objective-C. So we just call rect, and let's hit the escape key like I said in the last tutorial. And let's use our set height width method. So as you can see, it nicely autofills the information for us. And let's say we want to set our height as 6 and our width as 4. Let's end our method call. So there, we just made a call to our set height width method. And we're setting our height as 6 and our width as 4. So let's go ahead and copy this because we want to print out this information again. So there you go. We're going to make another call. And it's the exact same as before. We just want to get the width and height information. So let's go ahead and run this again. Hit build and run. Save all the information. And as you can see, width is 4 and height is 6, like we assigned it right here. So that's pretty much calling in or calling different methods in Objective-C. So uh, just a review of what we did in this tutorial. We learned how to initialize our class instances, and we'll definitely be talking more about this in the future, and probably actually coming tutorial very soon, we'll be talking more about this init method and how to initialize our variables from the start. So then we moved on to the next step here, which was just calling different methods. So we called our set height method by calling or using the rectangle instance that we created here, and we just call our set height method, call our set width method, and then we just printed out this information by using the width and height methods that we defined before. So there's nothing uh, too complicated to this tutorial, but um, that's just about it. So um, more tutorials will definitely explain some new things, and we'll be getting into uh, cooler things in the next tutorials. But if you have any questions on this tutorial, please leave your questions in the comments below or send me a message via YouTube. Anyway, um, if you 
like this tutorial, just thumbs it up, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Alright, see you next tutorial.